Oh, old friend, we meet again. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Psychonauts with me, Oxfoo, and, well, let's jump right in. We're going okay. back to the brain tumbler. I'm a certified levitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. What? The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Ha! That's right. I'm a loose cannon psychonaut who doesn't play the rules, and you better believe that there's no faster way to get to the bottom than th of this than just jumping straight in. All right, so we got a few more open. It's Sasha's mind. Uh, I believe the yellow one is Mia Fodellos or Bodellos or yeah, Mia's dance party. And then this is our head. Oh look, we got all the luggage and we got all the uh. uh Locked away memories. I don't remember what they're called. Whatever. Um, <laughs> right, so back in for... This is the third time, I believe? Yeah. Okay. We've still got the steaming what? steak. Oh, gosh. What was that? Take that, you son of a bitch. Jeez, I forgot, I forgot that we're going to start seeing... I forgot that we start seeing sensors in here since, you know, we finished Sasha's experiment. But anyway, I always forget to do this whenever I come back through because I never think, oh, steak with fumes coming out of it. I can float on that. No, because I'm not insane. All right, get a few more figments while we're going around since we can actually catch up to these guys now, thank God, using the levitation bubble. Oh, man. <laughs> Just this, the steak, the meat, all around. At the same time, I kind of love it, and it's freakier than anything else we're gonna see. All right, but we might as well make our way back up this huge tree. See what we can do with this steak. Aha! Another gassy steak. Let's ride it up to the top. Oh wait, wait. I wanna get that. There we go. This should... Whoa! That was convenient. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Crap. That was, uh... Wow, that was terrible. I kind of cannot believe that I missed that landing. Oh, I would never make it anywhere in, those, in the Olympics. They'd give me nothing for the style and nothing for the landing. I mean, especially because I probably will just gross them all out because I'm riding rotting steak to the to the roof. Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. <laughs> Why are you screaming? Because I'm gonna take your brain. Oh my god. Oh good boy, there's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, <laughs> don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad tooth. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't you solid foods for six hours! Lily? Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Dogen. We'll, we'll, we'll help TV, you out, buddy. TV. Oh, I guess we can't get you out. I guess the first priority is to get your brain. Let's go. Oh my god, I can't believe this. What? What's... What is this? Blueprints? Wait a minute. That's a tank! Oh, 
Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, this isn't gonna turn into like some sort of X-Men first class where it's gonna hold his head and we're gonna shoot a quarter through his head, right? Oh, God. This isn't the garbage at all. Alright, so anyway... Thank God we have invisibility, because now we can just sneak up on this guy and just be like, hey! <laughs> Aha, there we go. We need to have him expose Man, his soft so underbelly. Soft gelatinous underbelly? Here I come. And then we can just smack the crap out of him. This guy's actually pretty easy, even though he's supposed to, I guess, be considered a boss. Alright, and... Nope, nope, not today. got to wait for you to rear your ugly head. Yeah, might as well get out of the way. There you go. I love the design of this guy, though. <laughs> it's just got that old 70s and 60s horror movie design. Like, it reminds me of something that would be out of a Tom Baker Doctor Who, honestly, <laughs> or something like that. Oh, I've been watching so many of those lately, just because they are Confusion. awesome. Alright, so, so I got hit dizzy. with Who Confusion, which reverses your controls, but whatever, we're good enough, we can we can just deal with that. <laughs> Let's take a look around, actually. Oh, we can't take a look around. <laughs> Never mind, then. Oh, crap. Oh crap, don't shoot, don't shoot. Ah. Alright, there we go. Should be done with you right now then. Oh, if we can hit you, geez, come on. There we go. That guy's not too bad. I guess yeah, Psychonauts could take him out easily enough. Oh god. Oh gosh. Now I'm trying to remember how to actually fight this guy. Whoops. Well, I guess the first thing we should do is not get hit by these confusion grenades. I think it has to do something with telekinesis. Uh, Maybe wrong. Shoot. Can't get a good grip. Okay, never mind. It Can't does not have grip. anything to do with telekinesis. Try, uh, marksmanship, maybe. Nope, that's not doing anything. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna lose our life if we don't figure out something soon. Let's, so let's, let's ask, uh, oh, hello. Mm, bacon. <laughs> let's ask for a crawler, then. What kind? Come on, Dogen. Okay, that's, um... You've been very helpful. That's all I need. Good luck. No, no, no. That's not all I need, but that's all I need for that. I need help with an enemy. Again. Agent Cruller, do you have any advice on the current situation? Get as high as you can and float in shooting. Oh, that's right. Okay. And nothing more nothing to report. Nothing more to report at this time. Crawler out. That's right. We're going to be using levitation for this. Or are we? Or do we just use the bomb bomb? No, I guess... I don't remember how... Oh! We did do some damage to him. Okay, basically we're just dodging this then. Oh shoot. Oh crap. Did we get... Yeah, we got hit by confusion. Oh well, we've got three lives left. Not a big deal. We just gotta get on top of him and do a little palm bomb it looks like. Seems like it's doing enough damage. And let's just brute force this guy at this point. I really cannot remember the best way to go about this guy. Jeez, maybe this is going to be too big of a job for the Psychonauts. I don't know, it's not really intuitive how you fight this guy. Everything bounces off. I guess Pom Bomb's just the way to go. 
Oh no, Raz, you still had like three brains left. <laughs> I love that they use brains and not. Is this a nightmare? Hearts. Oh god. Plan. Wait a minute. Or both. Bunnies, Wait carrots, marble. Satin drapes! I know who this Mr. is! Mutant, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut's business. Wait! So is this! That was- Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your- <laughs> Hmm. Well, it looks like we can do some official psychonaut business hey, now. that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. It also but smelled Maury funny. Is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Oh, God. Are you talking about the lake monster? Oh, no, Lily. Don't worry, I'm coming. Uh, as soon as I get up this long staircase. I know I could take the transport right to her, but I've actually never gone up this way. Because <laughs> again, I, I just use the I just use the rails. Oh. Hello. Nighttime. Haven't seen you since this game began. Oh. Alright, let's get out our dowsing rod. Oh shoot, what the heck are you? Hey. Well, you're something that set me on fire. Alright, I'm gonna be back in a few seconds, guys. I'm gonna get some arrowheads. Hey, we can get I can get those later. Screw that. Oh hello. I'm gonna just sneak by you and smack you in the face. Get out of here, you cat. I was gonna say you best you best not be coming back after that after that kind of thrashing. I doubt that we're gonna find any campers around, so let's go right back up to camp. So yeah, this is gonna be okay. This is gonna be some more ex exploration. Is I've got nothing better to do. Do you have anything better to do? I thought not. Well, unless you said yes, and if that's the case, you can press pause right now and just go. Because, I mean, if you really have something better to do, I'm sorry that I'm wasting your time. Okay, nobody's here. They must all be back in the uh, cabins and such. All right, um, how many arrowheads do we have, actually? Can I, no, I can't check from there. Arrowheads, arrowheads, 269. Hey, anything new in the store? Take a look. Oh, that's my last Yeah, I'm not getting that. It's too expensive. You can change the color of some of your psi powers. 250, like we could get that. Now, here's something now with that. Could get the you mental magnet. The now, you take that psi. Mm, mm, now, I'm now thinking that, the energy the color colorizer. Of powers, like your levitation ball and what have you and what And we could change well, the kind of uh, color of our levitation you know, ball. I've day, never actually bought this. Great, we that was but red. Super Paper Ness was we being like, I can't believe you haven't bought this yet. I buy this like first thing and I'm like, change the levitation ball to something that doesn't look like ass. What else can I do you for? Right. Now here's something so we gotta talk to Ford Crawler. Obviously, we can't do that right there. Come on back. Support your local merchants. Let's uh, let's try this. <laughs> Delicious. Just uh, you know. Can I change the color of my levitation ball? Talk to him while he's right in front of us. To what? All right, levitation ball. What color do we want to change it to? Um, ooh, we've got a lot of choices. I'm actually thinking indigo, because that is a nice color. Okay. Hope that makes you feel pretty. Can we? Nothing more to report can this time. We can just keep Crawl changing it. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that that looks fantastic. That looks absolutely fantastic. Does it? Yeah, it changes the double jump too. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Why have I never done that before? I don't know. 
But let's call that an episode. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Psychonauts when we go back to the main into into the kids' cabin area and just check out what everybody's doing before we head off to meet Lily at the lake. All right, see you guys next time. Take it easy with with Mioxfu. Oh, I can't I can't believe I didn't say that. Take it easy, guys.